Afghans are leaving Afghanistan for years now. After almost, we have to say, 40 years of conflict, uh, they were in the 90s uh, the most important refugee population in the world falling under the mandate of UNHCR, but now uh, they are coming increasingly in Europe. So how would you situate this uh, recent flow to Europe within the broader and longer history of forced displacement? So we do know that we are the second largest refugee after Syrian. Um, saying this because it's not only Afghanistan, the overall region, there's not a lot of job opportunity. And there's not a lot of uh, uh, reduction, clear reduction on poverty. And also the, uh, not much development. So that's why the people tries to, uh, to get out of uh, Afghanistan. It's not, the Afghans are not welcomed as they were in early 1980s and 90s in Pakistan and Iran. So the easiest way and the best, the better way, the people think, would be to reach Europe. As you said, Afghans are the second population of asylum seekers and refugees in Europe now, after Syrians. So, but at the same time, there are only four in terms of recognition rate, in terms of getting a protection status. So this, this discrepancy between arrivals and recognition rate is interesting. So would you say that uh, donors, European countries here, are unable to acknowledge the fact that uh, the reconstruction of the country has been a failure in spite of all the money they sent to Afghanistan? Absolutely. I think one of the issues that they try to ignore Afghanistan um, uh, is that they spend a lot of money. They, uh, of course, they sacrifice their lives, lives also in Afghanistan that we do not forget and we appreciate that highly. But the overall strategy for reconstruction in Afghanistan was and uh, not a united long-term approach. So they are not there to acknowledge that they are uh, they failed on their uh, in their policy, and the withdrawal was quite premature. 